If you were to hear some poetry, say, talk to me. When the taxes taken from our weekly checks are used to build prisons that incarcerate us, school curriculums that educate us, and pay for the salaries, weapon, and training of racist police officers that target us, then it is fair for me to conclude that we are financing our own destruction. A degree earned from the prestigious dungeons of Yale and Harvard are merely pieces of paper which requires the signatures of only men. Only men. These mortal masters will never expose us of our godly identity for they possess finite knowledge, finite wisdom, and finite understanding which they have carefully wrapped under layers of social conditioning, colorfully camouflaged as school spirit, go dogs, athletic altars, gladiator worship, packed coliseums, Greek life and letters that symbolize brotherhood through broken pride. Virgin's innocence ripped when cardinal seeds and big kegs collide. Drunken frat boys become scholars of our moral authority and are given the power to enforce policies that dictate how we should raise our children. Mental holocaust committed in class chambers where the souls of students are solicited to corporations that suck dry their humanity through their straw man. Capping gowns like black hooded robes are worn in public initiations, AKA school graduation, where the new graduates are given degrees as janitorial keys to the Tower of Babel, where each floor is layered with secret handshakes and coded languages to control the perception and behavior of the sleeping mass. But we see clearly the signs of deteriorating times, but still recycle our children through evolving doors of spiritual death, where we encourage them to close their universal portals of infinite knowledge, infinite wisdom, and infinite consciousness that guides us through our intuition but we gladly trade that for a college tuition so that we too can possess expensive cars, elaborate homes, 20 plus years of student loans that fuels the engine of this capitalist system that operates under the premise that money do grow and money will continue to grow on our family trees. It's like every branch of our sanity is shredded into currency that rotates from paycheck to taxes, taxes to government, government to institution, institution to employers, employers to employees, and when your candle of life melt away or was blown out, by the same breath that blew life within you, we leave behind trails of material possessions, wills that divide families, bills that drives us to financial insanity, where we are then given prescription pills to help recover this humanity that we have suffocated with the pillows of imitation life. Life is not your expensive vehicles that eventually rust within the windows of a decade. Life is not our mansions that have become our prisons by owning and enslaving us through mortgage debt. Life is not our two to twelve year degrees we have ingrained into our identity. Life is that force that peel back your eyelids to the morning sun. Life is that two-second vision of clarity piercing through your cloudiest moments. Life is that voice of inspiration that constantly draw you back to your center. Life is, and life will be, once we learn to listen and function at a highest spiritual potential. If you're still with me, say, talk to me. Talk to me.